Well, here I am, smoking some Navy Flake by McBaron out of my Molina, one of my favorite pipes. Old Northern Smokey, I owe a debt of gratitude. He put me on to a new tobacco. A few weeks ago, he had a video describing a tobacco called Mir de Cheval, which is French for horse shit. And I thought, well, I guess I don't need to know any more about Smokey's taste in tobacco. But he described it as being so good and tasty that curiosity got the better of me and I ordered some. And he was right, just good tobacco. It's Virginia and Latakia. It was very mild, but still it's it's um, flavorful and rich. So I would recommend it. And Smokey, thanks for putting me on to this. It's not available everywhere. I think I finally got it from Four Noggins. Another tobacco I like real well is Dunhill's Royal Yacht. It's a Burley and Virginia mixture. And it's a strong tobacco. Very good in the evening after a good dinner. I highly recommend that. And I understand that it was the tobacco of choice of Joseph Stalin. It's interesting because my wife says that since I've been smoking Royal Yacht, I've become a little cranky. And I thought, you know, Joseph Stalin had a reputation for being cranky. So I did a little digging. I found that before he started smoking a royal yacht, Joseph Stalin was really a nice guy. Had a great sense of humor. Uh, liked to take his family and friends and colleagues on picnics. And then he started smoking a royal yacht, and his sense of humor kind of took a caustic turn. He'd still go on picnics, but he'd make Nikita Khrushchev dance naked across the meadow. And would always make Barry and bring the potato salad. And then uh, things start getting worse as history recounts. I haven't gotten that bad yet. I do like to watch my wife dance naked, and she makes damn good potato salad. Anyway, update on my new wet shaving experience and my straight razor. I'm still practicing. Got a lot to learn, apparently. One thing I've learned is that using a straight razor is less like shaving and more like plastic surgery. I managed to inadvertently remove a few moles. Hell, I even removed some freckles. But there's some things you got to be careful of. And for example, when you go to shaving against the green, under here, if you feel a sneeze coming on, remove the blade from the face. I guess that's all I have. Seemed like there was something else, but oh, yeah. Sweet pipe dreams.